cool. Today I'm going to do a review, a demo review for you to help you understand live action and um, do a quick uh, five to ten minute demo. So what we're looking at here, uh, this is actually a, a live uh, network setup that we have in the la in lab with network devices, with actual network devices and data going through them. So for example, if I zoom into this 2921, uh, this is actually a Cisco uh, router, a 2921 router with uh, uh, the interfaces on it. I can see the interfaces on here. So the little circles will be the interfaces, the big circle will be the actual device. And notice guys, we also have the uh, information about the interface on here. So if I hover over it, I can see the IP address, The if they have any ACL, uh, maybe a QS policy on here. So it's really great for visibility purposes to kind of uh, interact with devices on here. And uh, also in my topology, I have two different sites. I have the West and the Enterprise. And these different sites help with running reports or maybe just understanding your topology a little better and just uh, building that mental model of the network. And we also use these end users. For example, I have an IP phone, a server, you know, a laptop. These, I, these uh, network objects really help with uh, understanding the data going through. So for example, if you um, if you see a, a flow leaving from a phone going to another phone that just uh, makes it easier to understand that's your voice call or voice data going through a network. All right, and then on the left side here, we have two different, uh, we have different um, sites. So we have Backbone, Cisco Live, Enterprise, The West. So for example, if I see uh, Backbone here in Amber, Amber usually indicates a problem. So if you see Amber, Red, Red usually a CPU issue and Amber usually is a packet loss or uh, you know um, a quality of service issue. So if I want to go and find out what's going on on the uh, Backbone site, I will just right click and live action will take me directly to that uh, site. And then if I zoom into this 2960, I can see I have some enter, uh, Amber interfaces telling me that there is a problem there. So going back to the enterprise, uh, so you can zoom uh, into uh, different uh, sites really easily on here. And then on the top here, we have quality of service, flow, routing, IPSLA, and LAN. And these different tabs really help with uh, different things. So if you on the QS tab, you're monitoring a QS, doing troubleshooting, you're uh, troubleshooting QS problems. If you switch to the flow tab, then you start monitoring flows and things like that. So we're going to go and start with the, the flow tab. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my topology and live action will now stitch all the conversations going across my topology and display them for me. So now I can see I have blue, red, green, and I have different colors on here. So the different colors represent different DSCP values. So blue is best effort, green is EF21, I have some uh, EF traffic on here. So if anyone, this is great for uh, you know quality of service verification. If you want to get uh, a summary of these conversations going through my topology, I can click on my table view and now we're looking at the protocol, source IP, port number, destination IP, the country, the application name, and even the DSCP value. And then I can fill, uh, I can actually uh, uh, sort this by application name, for example, Citrix on here, and I can verify my uh, DSCPs on Citrix. Uh, notice here that we have Citrix running best effort, so really great for quality of service verification. And as far as the topology view on here, so every time you click on the refresh, Live Action does actually a pull and um, and actually pulls all the data going through my topology, but I can always go back in time and look at a specific problem that happened a week ago, a month ago. So let's say a ticket came in for a voice call issue last week on Thursday at 5 uh, five or 3 p.m. I can go back and look at that port number that was having problems for example 19 420 now live action is going to display the, the uh, uh, conversation going through 19 420 and and now you can you guys can see that we're actually starting red from the source telling us that we're actually marking traffic correctly as uh, EF46, but when we get to the service provider, we lose the marking and we convert to best effort. This is great for quality of service verification to make sure you're 
your service provider if you want to uh, if you want to make sure your service provider is honoring the marking across your uh, network, you can do that using live action really easily. And if you want to drill down even further, I will click on my table view again. I see now I have packet loss problems, jitter. If you want to drill down even further, I will just double click on the packet loss percentage and live action will now read the, the, com the configs on the devices. And here is my uh, table exceeding the 2921 is having a one shaping issue. As far as packet loss is doing okay, EF traffic still good. When we get to the 1941, we see packet loss problems up to 59%, and then CPU issues, and also best effort. So I could take this and show it in my topology. Now, live action is actually looking at that one voice call, and now I see the green 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 and it gets to the service provider and it converts to uh, red which indicates a problem so on here what I can do I notice that this is actually passing through an amber interface the unique thing about live action we can monitor and troubleshoot so we'll now go ahead and troubleshoot this voice call so if I double click on switch the quality of service now we're looking at this output I see they have a when shaping quality of service policy on this output. Up here, I have all the in-bar applications. I have HTTP traffic, RTP, Skype, Citrix on here. And down here, we're actually looking at the QS information. I, I, I can see all the classes I have under this Q, uh, the WAN shipping policy. I have some amber colors telling me that, telling me that there is a problem. I can right click and display drops. Now we have, uh, I see that I have some uh, drops on my C voice class. And then the cool thing here, I can actually right click and adjust the quality of service directly from this view. Now live action is again reading the configs. We don't store configs. Every time you right click on a QS policy, we'll go and uh, read the latest configs. And uh, notice here we have that C voice is running 0%. So I'm configured my C voice wrong. I can go ahead and change that, fix it, 33 my video 30 percent now everything looks good here's my CLI I see that uh, live action actually created CLI by changing that bandwidth uh, um, percentage here so now you can see that the CLI that will get pushed to my device and this if this looks good I can go ahead and save it to my device but we're not going to do that since this is just a demo environment just to give you an idea how you can troubleshoot a voice call on the fly all right, so also um, on here we have uh, a device view. So if we double click on one of the devices, live action will actually uh, display all the data that's going through this device right now. I can see protocol, source IP, port number, destination IP, the application name. I can filter down and look at specific application. For example, if I want to look for Skype or something, I'll just type in flow.application equals Skype and live action will filter down to that one or the, the to all my Skype conversations and then another unique thing about live action we have a DVR built in so a DVR helps um, with monitoring data in the past so let's say I want to go back in time Monday at 3 a.m. in the morning and want to find out you know what type of data was going through your device we can do that using live action Great, that was the uh, quick overview uh, about the Java client. We'll just go over the web client here real quickly. So um, we're actually moving uh, to uh, a web client very soon. So just to kind of give you an idea now, uh, this is how it's going to look like. We're going to have the live NX, uh, the network experience tool up here we, where you can see all the sites, devices, the applications. And, and on this interface, we have another cool, uh, tool called Live UX. And what this is doing is actually covering the network experience and the user experience. For example, you know, some sometimes your um, your network is doing perfectly fine. For example, in Salesforce here, I see my network is doing perfectly fine, but I see network latency and DNS latency problems. So if you get a user complaining about Salesforce being slow, you can use Live UX to verify what's going on. So I see here I have my network is doing good, DNS having problems. I can click and load all the different elements of the website and find out if someone was downloading a video or updating an iPhone 
Uh, and another cool thing here is you can do a path analysis and trace that application across the network. So for example now, on, on this uh, example we see that we're actually green and then we get to this device and we start having problems. So you see actually starting amber here. So if I hover over it, live action will tell me the IP address and then it can uh, easily find out where the issue is starting. Great, I hope that was helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.